Edinburgh Imaging is special in terms of the facilities that we have access to here, imaging equipment, the critical mass of expertise, particularly around imaging acquisition, but also image processing and analysis, and the very high level of integration between the academic imaging groups here and the clinical services within the hospital. Most of our work in brain imaging studies for the last 15 to 20 years has been based at the Western General Hospital on the 1.5T MR scanner. Now patients who are in the hospital can come into this 3T scanner and it's also more up to date in a number of other ways. There are fantastic facilities which are accessible and well integrated within the hospital environment, so it's a hospital embedded unit, which again integrates very well with the clinical side. The MR PET scanner has been a major upgrade to the facility recently. So this is the only system that's come to Scotland. So we're now part of uh, seven PET MR systems throughout the UK. I think the possibilities of PET MR are really substantial. We can really start to understand conditions like dementia. We can really start to understand conditions like heart disease and heart attacks in a much better and more sophisticated way, which I think will make a real difference to our patients. I think it's really exciting. Imaging allows us the potential to identify some of the very early pathological processes. There are some new areas which we're keen to develop here, particularly around neuro-oncology, the study of brain tumours, for development of new treatments. Edinburgh Imaging is interested in the brain at all different stages in life. Because this new scanner is set up specifically to be able to study babies without disturbing them, we expect that it will be able to really push forward on studies of newborns and then also study them through childhood and understand more about the developing brain. So it's a really exciting thing to be able to do. CT coronary angiography can make a huge difference to patients and actually for the first time ever has shown an imaging modality that has reduced the likelihood of people having a heart attack. And that has actually changed practice and has now been introduced into national guidelines. The big benefit of having an integrated psychotron facility is that they're very closely located to the PET systems we have. But you can also develop tracers that are very, very short half-life. We can develop new compounds, and those compounds would only be workable if you have the radiochemistry and psychotron on site. I think Edinburgh Imaging now is on a fantastic platform, collaboratively working together. We've got a unique combination of staff, scientists and expertise together with state-of-the-art imaging facilities which I think will revolutionise how we do future clinical research and I'm sure will also revolutionise how we treat our patients.